Now, we want to look at the theory part of our 2019 question. So, we'll be starting from question number one. Question number one A for the first part. We have two parts in the theory part. We have part one, which is the first five compulsory questions. And we have part two, where you'll be asked to pick five out of seven to eight questions. So, we are dealing with part one. This part one is actually compulsory. The question is, given that 110 base x equals to 40 base 5, find the value of x. That is question 1a. So we are starting with question 1a. Now, question 1a. Given that 110 base x is equals to 40 in base 5, you have to find the value of x. So the simplest to do this is to take, is to convert this to base 10, Convert this to base 10, then you find the value of x. That's all. So let's pick this. Let's convert this one to base 10. It's 0, 1, 2. To base 10, it will become 1 times x raised to power 2 plus 1 times x raised to power 1 plus 0 times x raised to power 0, which will be equals to 40 also going to convert this to base 10. 0, 1. 4 times 5 raised to the power 1 plus 0 times 5 raised to the power 0. So both the left and the right hand side are now in base 10. x to the power 2 times 1, x to the power 2 plus x. 0 times this is 0 equals to 4 times 5 is 20. 0 times this is 0. So we have 20 left. Now when you collect like 10, you transfer this 20 to this side. So we have x squared plus x minus 20 equals to 0. So this is quadratic. So this can be factorized to get the value of x. So you take of two values that when you multiply, you get minus 20. And when you add, you have plus 1. Two values to multiply will be 5 and 4. Minus plus 5 and minus 4. If you add them, you are going to get 1, which is x. And if you multiply them, you are going to get minus 20 if you multiply them. So we say x plus 5 and x minus 4 equals 0. Now, we now have either x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. Then x becomes minus 5. This is plus 5. When it comes to this side, it becomes minus. Or x equals to 4. But x cannot be negative because x is in form of a base. So x is 4. So the value of x is 4. x cannot be minus 5. That is question 1a. Now let's look at question 1b here. 1b. You have to simplify 15 over root 75 plus square root of 108 plus the square root of 4, 3, 2. Now, let's look at this. This can be rationalized. We can rationalize this. So that this root can actually come up. If rationalized, it's going to become 15 over root 75 times root 75 over root 75. Plus, root 108 can be broken down into 36 times 3. 36 times 3 will give us 108. Plus, 4, 3, 2 can also be broken down. Remember, in our explanation, we tried to explain this. We tried to look for the highest perfect square numbers that can divide 4, 3, 2, and that will be 144. 144 times 3. Alright, 144 is the perfect square, 10 is the perfect square. So let's get this rationalization here. 15 multiplied with 75, that will be 15. Root 75 divided by root 75 times root 75 will give us 75. Plus, this is this can be separated 36 times root 3 plus root 144 times root 3. Now, 15 can go in 20, 75. 15 year 1, 15 in 75 should give us 5. So we have root 75 over 5 plus the square root of 36 is 6 then root 3 
plus the square root of 144 is 12, then root 3. Now, so it's also going to be broken down into 25 times 3. So that will be the square root of 25 times 3 divided by 5 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3 can be combined together since they are the same root. 6 plus 12 becomes 18 root 3. Now, the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 5 root 3 over 5 plus 18 root 3. 5 we cancel. Five. So I left it root three. So we now have root three plus eighteen root three. Root three plus root three becomes nineteen root three. And this is the end of question one of part one. So in our next video, we are going to continue with question two of part one. Thank you.